Well, when Turkey was hit by another large earthquake in 1999, 18,000 people were killed then. New construction methods were meant to have been brought in to limit the damage when it happened again, which, Emily, was only a matter of time, the quakes they'd been dreading. Mm, absolutely. And in many ways, there's no surprise that an earthquake of this magnitude hit in this part of the world. It's an earthquake hotspot, and sadly, they are to be expected. Turkey and Syria sit at the crossroads of four tectonic plates. And for years, the Anatolian and Arabian plates have been pushing against each other horizontally across what's known as a strike-slip fault. On Monday, the stress built up so much, it caused the deadliest earthquake seen in recent years. And it wasn't just felt along the fault line, but for hundreds of miles around. Geologists think the stress from the first quake triggered the other massive quake. The impact was colossal. The quake's epicentre was in Gaziantep. From there, the devastation was spread across 10 provinces in Turkey, where more than 13 million people live. In Karamanmarash, most of the city centre has been destroyed. In Adiyaman, several government buildings collapsed. And the airports of Malatia and Hatay were badly damaged. Across the border in Syria, it was also devastating, with around 10 million people affected in the area. That includes about 4 million internally displaced refugees in Syria's last opposition region around Idlib. But why was the damage so great? Well, unsurprisingly, it was one of the biggest hit to hit on land and occurred at a shallow depth only 11 miles deep. So it was pretty close to the surface and near populated areas. Buildings should, of course, be reinforced to help withstand a shock, but thousands collapsed. And look at this. Look what happened in 1999 when a 7.6 magnitude quake struck Turkey. Shockingly similar scenes. There have been efforts to prevent this, something called pancake collapse, where tragically, few people survive, but there are questions over whether new building regulations are actually being enforced. And this matters because it will happen again. And sadly, Julie, scientists have no way of predicting when or precisely where. OK, Emily, thank you very much indeed for that.